Hello everyone, it is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone's doing fantastic today. Oh, how am I? You know, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. I appreciate it. If you're new here, hi, thank you so much for being new here. Um, if you're a returning wonderful jewelry friend, thank you so much for clicking on the video. Um, this is going to be a, what is this? Well, it's Wednesday, so it is my haulish slash preview for my live sale, which will be tomorrow evening, which is Thursday, the 19th, um, at what time? 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you are not yet registered, um, if you would like to participate in tomorrow evening's um, auction, I just need you to fill out a jot form. I will have all that information of this lovely video in the description box. It's real simple, fill it out, press send, you're registered. You don't get a verification or anything like that, but if you do it, you're, you're, you're safe, you're good to go. Um, and what else? That is it. So I'm just gonna show you some stuff. Um, yeah, I got a lot. I got a lot of stuff. I think I have a lot of really cool stuff in my personal opinion. I hope you think so too. Um, but I'm gonna start with something that's not jewelry per se, um, but it's amazing all the same. So, okay, so this is um, this is Victorian. So this is an antique. It's a little hand purse. This is actually leather. Um, and this is a, a, an eye, an evil eye to keep you safe and sound. Um, and this is amazing. First of all, this is leather. It is still soft and supple. It is not dried out at all. Um, it is, you know, a hundred years old or so. Um, and then what is amazing, I'm gonna open it up. Yeah, there's the wear to the metal, um, but I'm leaving it because this is amazing. Um, and look, it's stuffed, but do you see how it has a purple? Here, I'll take that out. It's not a dirty tissue, it's just how it came to me. Um, purple, uh, this is leather as well. Um, look, hand sewn little pocket. Well, back in the day, uh, purple was one of the most expensive dyes that they could use. And it's actually, now, listen, they had different views of certain things. So don't send me nasty emails or nasty comments. Purple dye was acquired from snails, a specific type of snail. How, I don't know. I don't really need to know. Um, I just thought it was fascinating that it was one of the most expensive purples. Um, and um, you know what? Guess what the royal colors are in England? It's purple. Because um, it was they were really some of the only people they at certain times could afford to have purple linens and clothing and, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, it's incredible that this has the purple inside of it and it is from Victorian times. And yeah, anyway, um, I'm bringing it it's for sale. Um, it's great for a collector. I don't know. I just think it's darling. I really do. Um, and the condition is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to keep it that way. So I'm going to put it back in its little sack and everything like that. But I just wanted to share uh, this piece, which will be, I will offer it tomorrow. Um, yeah, and I thought it was really interesting about the purple dye and all that fun stuff. So yay, okay, so there's that. That's your little, as you know, as you learn, the little shooting star. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Okay. Oh boy. <sighs> what am I going to show? Well, I do have some, um, I have some great pieces this week, right? So a little bit of everything as always because everyone likes different things, right? So I was asked to bring some more turquoise, so... Not all of it has come in, but I do have some really fantastic Navajo pieces. I think I'm only going to be bringing two substantial pieces, Navajo-wise, tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, but this is fabulous. We have the pie crust setting. That's what I call this. I don't think that's the actual term, but this is an old vintage, really cool, big. Look how big this ring is. This is a big, chunky, amazing piece. Um, what size is it? I don't even know. Let's see. You are a size nine and a half. So it's a large size as well. Fantastic. So it's really pretty. Great, great piece. Vintage, not a new one. If I know that something's new, I do try to let you know. Um, I do try to do mostly vintage. Um, unless if it's new, I want it to be really nice, high quality and a bit unusual. Um, do I always make the mark? Probably not, but I try. I try. Okay, so we've got that beautiful ring. I'm just going to grab stuff. I don't know. If you are a Tasco lover, yes, I have Tasco. I'm sorry for everyone who hates it, but I'm a lover and you know, I buy what I love. So I have this fantastic vintage carved guys, you know, really cool. Um, there's a little bit of 
scratches to the stone that is easily i might even be able to fix that real quick um that's just a quick little polish because it's not you don't even feel them so i could probably fix that anyway sterling silver really cool old piece this is pre pre eagle so pre 1949 okay there we go on that um let's see how about um oh i do have some of the uh commission not commission consignment excuse me i mean i do get a commission from it but it's consignment pieces i do have some left um some i did not show and some i did i think not much that was left so i'll just just a little refresher i do have the fabulous antonio rihanna rihanna rian r-e-i-n-a rina excuse me oh boy a beautiful sterling silver vintage gorgeousness of a necklace and it does have a bracelet um, and I have given, I've gotten permission to lower the price a bit. So, um, yeah, so I have lowered the price on this. Um, and this is available for pre-sale. Okay, now I don't really do pre-sales, but with the um, consignment pieces, I, I'm i okay with that. And the person is okay with that. Um, so if somebody is interested, now this is a signed piece. I'll show you the signature. Please do your research. Um, this is a much higher end he studied with um, Castillo, and he studied with Spratling. Um, then he branched off onto his own. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. I've been doing my, my studying. So anyway, so this is available. Antonio Re Rina. I can't say his last name right for some reason. R-E-I-N-A. So please um, let me know if anyone's interested. Oh, I guess I should tell you. The bracelet is, I guess you want to know the size if you're interested in it. Oh, my goodness. Well, I thought I was prepared today. I guess I'm not. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Okie dokie. So the length of this is, oh boy, seven and a quarter. No bigger though, okay? Because um, you have to be able to hook that underneath. It is bigger than seven. So it's about a seven, a little bigger than a seven and a tenth and slightly under a seven and a quarter. Odd size, I know, but you know, it's bigger than a seven inch falls off of me so that's good um, and then the necklace if you want to know the drop of this now this can easily um, jump rings can be put on this to make it longer if you need it um, let's see the length of this beautiful is 16 inches so it would be an eight inch drop and like I said even though they're not my pieces um, I am able to add some sterling silver jump rings to the end of this if that would help with it being a little bit longer for you um, but I'll to zoom in. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah. So there we go. I've got that. And I was able to lower the price a bit. So that was good. Let's see what else am I going to show you. Mm. Sorry. When you talk a lot, because I'm a talker, my, I get parched. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'll show you another consignment piece just because I might as well. Because like I said, I can offer these. This I particularly love. I not everyone loves a green. It's different than this. I do. It's a I don't know. It's like a childhood happy color. Anyway, this is a fabulous brooch. Old school Mexican. Really beautiful. Um, it's about two and a half inches. There's the pin. See a little wonk there. Totally works. Not a problem. You want to see the old school silver Mexico pre eagle. Really, but look at the condition of this absolutely stunning oh and remember you can always put a converter on this and wear this as a pendant it does look great i don't have a converter on hand but for instance like if you put it on a sterling torque now i know this is just an absolutely amazing torque haha <laughs> uh, it is available as well um but look can you imagine this on this good godness it's gorgeous it just needs a converter you know absolutely stunning um or a regular torque whatever this was just what i had quickly to grab so if you're not a brooch person, don't despair because um, I'm learning because I'm not a brooch person that I can either, some of these, um, the pin is in the right place. You can just stick it on the torque. This one's up too high. So it sits sideways. So you do need a little converter to put on that. You can get them on Amazon for like five bucks. It's really inexpensive and you get like a set of four of them. And I think they're stainless steel or surgical something. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that's my two cents. Um, and so this one is, a, this one is available as well for pre-sale because it is a, consignment piece okay um there's a couple more here okay so these are also consignment pieces now these are these are mm, 
these are something else, I'll tell you that. Okay, so this is, um, this is a trumpet flower. This is three and three quarters of an inch. This is a large piece. Look at this beauty. Now this is also vintage Mexico. The pin is much straighter on this one. Very long. So this is intended, even though it doesn't stick way out, that would be massive, but it is, see how long it is? This is good for a thicker material if you wear like a wool scarf or a jacket, if you live somewhere where it's cold. Can you imagine this on a beautiful, like even just like a pea coat, you know, like just a thick wool, this will totally work on that uh, just because this pin is able to accommodate such a thick, heavy fabric. But regardless, absolutely, absolutely stunning. So this is a trumpet flower, okay? So we got that. And then this one, ready? This one is from 1930s. Look at this gorgeous one. So this has um, turquoise. And it does have a maker's mark. Now, um, it's funny, I, we did research on this maker's mark, this and that. And like, it's funny because someone posted on like a, it's like a, what is it, like a message board? Is that what they're called? I don't even know what they're called. I'm not really that tech savvy. It's like a message board, but for Tasco, un, 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 unidentified marks, even in the book that I have, one of the books I have, has this mark and it says unknown artist. And they literally went to Anto Antonio Castillo because this is, I guess, close to, I'm not sure, I don't know why, but the book said that they actually approached him or uh, someone did because he's no longer with us because this was a long time ago. Remember, this is from the 1930s. And he said this is not one of his, although he wished it was. <laughs> I thought that was a little... Okay, so I'm a little bit of a geek. I thought that was a little fun little tidbit. So it does have a maker's mark and it's an unknown... Unknown. So to me, that's very mysterious. So anyway, this is also part of that little uh, consignment lot. Um, and this is also available. And this one is... How big is this? This is a really nice size as well. This one is three inches. Okay, and the back of this one, a little bit of wonk. Totally holds the pin really nice in there. And I could try to straighten out a little bit, but they're not mine, so I don't want to mess with them too much, you know what I mean? So I'm just housing them for right now. So, okay, so those are those from the consignment. There's a couple little more other ones, um, but yeah, whatever, that's okay. Okay, so let's show you some other things. Um, I do have a little bit of deco. I've been not bringing much just because it just hasn't been doing great for me. But anyway, so uh, this is a, uh, this clasp is a French clasp, a French barrel clasp, just in case you wanted to know. Um, and this is just, just really pretty. It's so hard for me to pass these up sometimes. Really beautiful uh, glass beads. I don't think it's crystal. It doesn't feel like crystal, but gorgeous all the same with the old school French barrel clasp. And then this one, oh, that one's not deco, but this one is deco. So I had one similar. So these are those beads that the glass, that they fit into one another. They almost remind me of like Lincoln Logs. Do you guys remember Lincoln Logs? I don't know. Beautiful. So we have the black and the frosted clear graduated. So small to large. Um, it looks like the clasp was replaced at one time. But at least this is all original. You could tell by the type of uh, silk threading. So I'm happy that that's all original. And look, there's like no pull or anything. It's like in really, really great condition, uh, except the clasp, I'm pretty sure is not original. Anyway, so I do have these. I will have them if anybody is interested tomorrow. Let's see. Oh, I need more beverage. Let's see. Mm. Now I have, um, let's see, Fordite. Now, I don't know if you all know what Fordite is. Fordite is a, well, they made them into stones. So they're not stone. It's actually paint that they use on Fords. Um, so from like in Detroit, Michigan, the Ford um, factory. So all the paint, like all the extra like layers of paint and everything that fall on the ground or whatever. Um, now they actually make big blocks of it and they turn them into jewelry. So it's cool. So all of these colors are actual Ford paint from the Ford factory. Um, and each one of these is a color that they use to this day um, from the Ford factory. And if you look at it in person, you'll see some shimmer, like a pearlesque, pearly color. Anyway, it's really cool. Um, now this is not an old ring. This is a newer ring. So they um, had the, the Fordite and they cut and 
you know, did it, made little cabochons out of them and then did all the silver work. So it's a fantastic ring. Um, and I think I'm getting a kick out of it because they're doing it in a Native American style or a Mexican style. Although I'm pretty sure this is just, just a silversmith. I don't know who made it. I just thought it was fantastic. Um, and I love that it's Fordite, that nothing got wasted. And it's a big, big size ring there. Really cool. Really. And a modern take on it. Oh, I just got a kick out of it. And they're expensive for date. Um, back in the day, it was like, I guess they've always been because it was more rare back in the day. And now everyone's gotten like the, you know, ooh, this is a cool thing. And they're, you know, they're doing their thing with it. I don't know. But what can you do? Oh, this was on my hand because this is for sale. I think I did offer this once. This is a signed Tabra. Tabra is a a designer, um, more of a, not obscure, but not like, not a Yarman. It's not, you know, you're not going to see it as often is what I'm saying. Um, it's more of like a boutique -y type of designer, um, but it is a sign piece. And this is one of the vintage ones. It is a hand signature. Some of the newer ones have like a little plaque. Um, this one's not, this is hand etched in there. Let's see. Why am I out of breath? I don't know. I get excited. Well, that looks horrible. So ignore that, but it, it does etched in Tabra and something else. Um, and it's fabulous. Uh, I love the face. It's very serene. And it is two tones. So this is sterling silver. And I don't know if that's, I'm not sure what that is, if that's just a gold wash or if it's, I don't know, it just says 925 on the back. So I am not sure what the lovely face is made out of, but um, it's a great ring. Anyway, so this is available. Sometimes I have to stick them on my finger so I remember to show because I've had this in my, my little jewelry box. So there we go. Um, what else? I do have a vintage uh, buckle ring. Now, um, I don't know, I'm just going to show it. You know, there's new buckle rings. Old, but this is an old one. So this is how old? Gosh, I don't know how old it is. 40 years old? 50 years? I don't know. It's an old one. Is it an antique? No, it's not an antique. But it's a cool one. Real. And then this is, it's weird. I didn't realize I was putting it on the and it opened. So it does slightly adjust. It's interesting. Um, but... I have a hard time, like I love, love a good buckle. And um, I have a hard time finding them for some reason. If you all have an easy time finding them, let me know, let me know where, because um, I have a fascination with them, I don't know. But this one I'm bringing, even though I have a fascination, it's probably because I have one like it. We could be twinsies or close to twinsies. Okay, so there's that. What else am I gonna show? I don't know, I've got a bunch, bunch of stuff. Um, I showed that, that, that. I have some fantastic necklaces, but I will show one that's very different. This is a sign piece. This is modernist, like unbelievably cool. So look at this. So we have the rutilated, oh my gosh. Now look at that stone. Is it rutilated quartz citrine? I don't know. I did not, I don't care honestly, but it's amazing. Um, it has all the fancy signatures over here. What do those fancy signatures say? You ask Kirsten, I don't even know. It is a bunch of different weird numbers. G I S one three three and then ooh, I have to look this person up. T O R U N. I have not a clue. And then it says G I. So I have no idea. Um, I just I thought it was amazing. It's a big size and just this what oh, the pendant is just amazing, amazing, amazing. Anyway, so that's that's this cool thing here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop staring at it. It's here. I don't have to stare at it right now. Okay, so we got that um, beautiful Tasco set. What I do love about this piece, well, first of all, it's sterling. I love the stone. The bracelet can fit onto this necklace to make it longer. Yay, because so many times I get a set and you can't do it with the bracelet. You can absolutely with this bracelet. I pre-checked it. So you can either have a bracelet and a necklace or you can have a much longer necklace. So hallelujah. So that's, that's always a good thing. Um, okay, I'll show you this. Now I'll talk about funky funkiness. Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes joy just makes me giggle. And this is a giggle. Amazing. Incredible. Tiger's eye, modernist, sculptural, chunky, larger size, isn't it? Feels like it. It is. Let's see. Well, it is a eight and a half. Well, yeah, about an eight and a half. Um, it fits a little bit lower, but this is a very thick band. So, and it does have some play in it, but um, not a whole lot that it would change that much your on your finger. So, really, really amazing. 
tiger's eye and not, you know, all tiger's eye is beautiful. <laughs> Let's be real. That one's pretty. Is it the best I've ever seen? No. Some of them are actually incredible. Some of them are okay. But it's the whole thing is what I think is amazing. So, hey, I'd be honest. I'd be honest. I can speak English. I'll be honest if I, you know, I love the ring as a whole. Individually, each piece, it's okay. But the whole ring is fantastic. Fantabulous. Okay. This is one of my pieces um, that I am selling. This is a very old, uh, large, this is very large, Mexican sterling silver and amethyst. This is a brooch. This also could be worn on a torque. This is big. How big is this one? And it's heavy. This one doesn't, some of them don't seem so heavy. This one's a heavy girl. This one's four inches. So yeah, this is a big one. Here's the back. She's kind of like a bow. I don't know. I just gorgeous. And when I wore her, I literally put, do I even have it? No, I think I sold that chain. That's funny. Um, it was a chain. I put one end here, one end here, and I wore it that way. I didn't even use a converter. Um, can I give you an example? I don't know if I can. Do I have one out here that I can show you? No, but I'll try to have one for tomorrow to show you what I'm talking about. Cause sometimes it's hard to explain it. Well, what's this? Hold on. Let me see. I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, I can't do it on camera. I don't want to waste your time. But like, you know, I would literally feed the the thing through a jump ring, you know, and I would wear it. Not on this chain. It wasn't this one, but something like this. Or you can just get a converter. Um, oh, look how fabulous this looks on this necklace. Wow. Okay. Anyway, so I have that beauty right there. I love when I like excite myself with my own jewelry. I don't know. It happens. It really does. Sorry that I'm not showing my face. I didn't pop in to say hi. Um, I've just been working a painting and trying to get some of my old jewelry that I made cleaned up and fixed up. And I'm just a mess. I'm a mess. So no one wants to see this mug being a mess. Okay. Now, I do know not everyone likes Tasco, this and that, blah, 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 blah. So I do have other stuff. And this is Israeli. Not all of it's ethnic. But look at this gorgeous sterling silver amethyst toggle. I love it. So cool. So, I don't know. It's just a hip bracelet, if you ask me. And I do like that there are three different um, circles, so you can have different sizes. I don't know what the sizes are. Probably seven, seven and a quarter, seven and a half. I have no idea. I don't know, but I'll know for tomorrow. I do have all my information. <laughs> if you're new here, I might seem a little ah, all over the place. And yeah, I kind of am sometimes, but I do know some of my stuff. Not all. No one knows everything, right? Um, and I know enough. I know enough, but the day of my sale, I do have all my sizing and pricing and, you know, so you're not going to be sitting around waiting, like, you know, blowing your nose going, okay, what's happening here? Oh, okay. Look at this. This just came in and I, this, this too did my fancy. Sure did. Look how gorgeous. Sterling silver, marcasite and lapis. Not particularly old. I'm going to say it's probably, you know, 30 years old or maybe a little older. It's not, it's not deco, you know, um, just a really beautiful, beautiful. All the marker sites are present. Look how shiny and pretty. Here's the back and it is all sterling. Oh, I could just look at that and look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, and I don't particularly always love I love marcasites. I usually tend to gravitate towards them, you know, way vintage, antique, if you, if I can say that without people rolling their eyes, um, and antique. Uh, but every now and then you get a piece that's, you know, you know, whatever, 20, 30 years old, and it's just, just as beautiful. And this is just a high quality, gorgeous piece. So there's that. So I will have that for up for offer. Um, and I did... Oh, see, I have a bunch. See, I can't show you everything, right? Okay, but I will bring this one other one. I wasn't going to bring it, show it, but I will. Um, this just came in too. So I'm thinking I'm going to bring this tomorrow. So we have like, you know, the sterling silver bead ball. And then it goes down to this fantastic sterling and turquoise pendant, old school, goody gooder. I love it. Goody gooder. That's not good English. That's not proper English, Kirsten. It's fantastic is what i'm saying um natural turquoise so you will see imperfections in there see that because it's not stabilized now it is coated on the top 
to seal the turquoise. There's many ways they go about doing all this stuff. All natural turquoise is very fragile. Um, it's a soft, it's a crumbly stone. So most turquoise you're going to find nowadays is stabilized. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. People give it a bad name. There's different types of stabilization. They've come a very long way. It doesn't turn funky colors and blah, blah, blah. Now I have, I have turquoise rings of my own that are all natural, blah, blah, but and I love them, but do I wear them that often? No, because there's fractures in them and then I have to seal them and it's a whole thing. So this is sealed, okay? Uh, but this is a much older piece. Um, so you will see some imperfections in that and that's to be expected. I'm trying to show you, oh, there you go, you can see. See on the edges a little bit there? Those aren't, you know, it's not broken. This is just the stone. Absolutely stunning. And I'm kind of glad this one is sealed. So, you know, it, cause it is a pendant, you know, it can bang on things and you know, I don't know. And it keeps this turquoise very blue. Turquoise does oxidize. So it will change color over time. Anyway, I can talk and talk and talk and talk, but I haven't been bringing a bunch of uh, Native American jewelry recently, uh, just cause you know, cause I haven't, you know, but um, someone asked me to bring a couple pieces. So I have a couple. Um, am I going to bring this this Thursday? If you don't see it somewhere, you can ask for it. Okay. I'll make sure I have a price and all that fun stuff. Um, but anyway, gorgeous piece. So there's that. Okay. Did I show enough? I don't know. How many minutes are we in? Are you bored of me yet? I hope not. I did get some more sterling silver torques in cause I know people asked for that last week. I think it was, um, and you'll see like a bunch of this stuff. I will talk about it at my sale. This stuff was all made um, for a woman that I work with. So it is new pieces that um, are reminiscent of old Tasco, um, the rings. I have a, quite a few of them. I'm only bringing a few at a time because I don't want to overwhelm you. And then I have these incredible bracelets um, that are high, high quality, sterling silver, amazing for stacking. Some of them are way adjustable and they're affordable. So sometimes people don't want to spend $250 on a flipping bracelet. I totally get that. Absolutely. But someone might want to get like, you know, a couple little pieces and be able to spend like 70 bucks and have like a nice little armful of yummies. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to accommodate all of that as well. So I am listening. I am reading emails. Um, I don't want you to ever think that I forget about anyone. I might forget the specific person with what they asked for because you know, I got a lot going on, but look at this amazing green turquoise. Amazing, amazing. How many times am I going to say that? Uh, this is native made, sort of shadow boxy, but not quite. Look at that. And this is what I talk about with natural stone. You'll see the variations in there, but these are all sealed. Anyway, fantastic piece. Love that so much. Anyway, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope you're still with me. Hi. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much. Please thumbs up, subscribe if you have not. It is free. Even if you don't like me, even if you can't stand my voice, I can try to speak nice and soft and sweet, but it doesn't hurt you to, to just, you know, thumbs up and click that, click it. Just click it. You know you want to. Anyway, and uh, if you don't want to get notifications, just don't put the bell on. And then you'll never hear from me again. But I really hope you do want to hear from me. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, <laughs> I just alienated everyone, didn't I? I'm not starting all over. Hugs and love. I love you all. Remember, be kind to everyone if you can. I know we live in a crazy, weird world right now. Uh, emotions are running high and blah, blah, blah. This is a fun jewelry channel. I don't want to get into politics, any of that crap. No, we leave that elsewhere. But you never know what someone is going through. Um, it's just how it is. But don't forget, guess what? You got to be kind to yourself. It always starts at home. If you're not kind to yourself, what's the point? Okay. I love you all. I'm going to cry. I'm so emotional, man. Being my age is crappy. Nobody talked about this. Maybe I should start a new channel being a woman in 50. Anyway, I forgot I'm selling this. One of my antique bracelets. Gorgeous. This was mine. Sterling silver. I don't know if it's glass or crystal. Don't know. Gorgeous. Okay. Anyway, I love you all tomorrow evening. Uh, rain or shine. 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern. Mwah. I love you. Hugs and love. Bye-bye.